Welcome. It's great to have you here. I'll be taking you on a meditation adventure shortly. But before we embark on that experience, let's spend a little time quieting your mind and body. I'd like you to picture five stone steps on the perimeter of a beautiful garden filled with a wild array of flowers and blossoming trees. We'll start on the highest step and slowly head down to the last. As you descend, any tension you're holding will be replaced with a feeling of deep calm. By the time we get to the last step, you'll be immersed in a lush and private garden, completely peaceful and relaxed. Let's start on the top step. Take a moment to notice what's right around you on this perfect spring day. Green grass, trees. Can you see the garden? From this top step, Let's take a few deep cleansing breaths and allow the bulk of your stress to leave your system. Step down to the next level and feel the solidness of the stone underneath your feet. As you breathe, bring your attention to the flow of air moving through your body, inhaling calm and exhaling stress. Now down to the third step. Thanks to the balmy warmth of the day, your body is loose and comfortable. The rays of sun feel like a soft, warm hug. As you step down again, Notice the subtle fragrance of lilacs rising to meet you. The scent is a bit intoxicating and another layer of tension melts away. Breathe in peace, breathe out tension. Your whole body has slowed down and your breath moves like a wheel, calm and steady as you descend to the bottom step. Now you are eye level with the lushness of your private garden. It's a visual feast and your happiness at simply standing here, absorbing the beauty, sends the last vestiges of stress floating away. This intrinsic peace will remain at your core throughout the meditation and you'll relax even deeper as I guide you into new spaces. We're going to take a journey back in time, back to a place and time when you inhabited a different body. And although your form will be different from the one you have in this incarnation, your soul has not changed, and knowledge of that eternal constant will help you comfortably navigate this experience. 
at certain times during the meditation, you may question whether you are creating or actually remembering pieces of a former life. If you simply follow my voice and let observations and emotions organically unfold, there won't be much room for your inner skeptic to make noise. After you've gone through the meditation, you can process your experience, explore its validity, and hopefully find value and meaning in whatever you've experienced. Please keep in mind that no matter what transpires during the regression, you are connected to the safety of the present moment through your breath and can return here whenever you choose. Let's start by visiting the early days of your childhood. I'd like you to go back to when you were about six years old. Is it a birthday party you remember? Maybe a special vacation or trip to the zoo? If those are difficult to tap into, how about your first grade teacher and classroom? Take a moment and find yourself at this stage of life. Look around and see who's there with you. Feel your emotions in this specific time and place. We're going to leave your six-year-old self and go back just a few years. What is your first memory as a toddler or infant? You may be able to recall events from when you were three or three and a half but it's possible there's a memory from an even earlier time. Are you being held by a family member? Don't worry if you can't sort out a lot of details. The world is a busy place for a very young child. Relax your mind. Just let images and feelings from this time float into your awareness.
it's time to move beyond your very young self and feel your body inside your mother's womb. Can you hear the comforting cadence of her voice? What physical sensations do you notice? Take a couple moments to experience life in this warm, protected space. Now we're going back to the time before you lived inside your mother. Gently release your spirit from your tiny body and feel yourself drift back. Drift back and back and back. You are formless, pure consciousness, pure joy, existing in the bliss of being in the universe. This is unlike anything you've ever felt on earth. It's a place of overwhelmingly luminous beauty and peace. Some use the language all-loving, all-knowing, but what you're feeling now can't be captured in words, so I'll stop talking and let you float in this sea of love and light. It's time to travel again, to a different time and place. I know it's not easy to leave this place, but now that you know it's here, you can come back again. You're moving back in time now. Back and back and softly landing 
in the young adult body you had in a prior life. Root yourself in place and look at your arms and legs. What are you wearing? The details of your clothing and shoes may help you remember who you are. Are you male or female? Do your garments reveal your current tasks? Look around. Is anyone standing near you? What is your relationship to them? Take a look around at the environment in which you've landed. What do you see? Does this place have a name? hear someone calling you from a short distance away. Listen. What name are they using to get your attention? Do you recognize them? Tell them you can't talk now. It's time to walk for a little bit. I'd like you to take me to the place where you live. You know the way. Your home comes into view now. Notice how it looks from this outside vantage point. Let's walk inside and look around. Check in with all your senses. What are the smells and sounds that are most evident? Do you live here by yourself?
show me where you sleep. People often keep their most valuable personal possessions close to where they sleep. Would you show me your most treasured object? Why is it so important to you? It's time to move forward now. There's nothing to be afraid of. You already know you will go on in time. If passing from this life happens to unfold in a physically or emotionally distressing manner, you can leave the scene and immediately return to the space of all-encompassing peace or your current body. Now, it's the final hour of your incarnation in this lifetime. Look around. Where are you? Can you see your hands? They may be able to tell you if you made it to old age. Is anyone caring for you? Are you aware that your time of transitioning is drawing near? Take a moment to inhabit the emotional and physical reality that is the end of this life. Feel your energy expanding up and out of the limits of this body. Once again, you float out of your physical form and into the serene comfort and joy of universal love. You've taken quite a journey, so before we return, take some time to rejuvenate your spirit by swimming in this ocean of bliss.
it's almost time to return. Follow my voice back to the present, back into your body. When you're ready, slowly begin moving your hands and feet. You may want to cover your face with your hands and open your eyes slowly, peeking through your fingers.